Energy loves to move. Always keep the energy flowing. Flowing, flowing, flowing. And this is the way of life. soul is in my feet. And my feet is on the altar of the earth. My life is literally in my hands. All the connections is to all the organs. It controls the four elements and even the fifth of spirit. My hands dictate what goes in my body. My hands are powerful. The all seeing eye, some say it's on the dollar bill, but actually it's on me. I see you. So beautiful. Look at her. Photosynthesis. A whole nother kingdom living amongst us, teaching us things. That's why the tree gong that we do on the breathing journey that I teach is standing like a tree. And keep in mind, a tree is a plant. And plants are trees. And look how they stay in one motion. But there's a lot going on, enough movement during meditation. A meditational state. So that's why when we do standing like a tree, it helps you with all meditations. Because it teaches you that the power is in stillness. Power is in stillness, so there's a lot going on inside of that tree. This is in this meditative pose, and that allows the cosmic energy to come into it, to nourish it, to sustain it with the power from the sun. This is awesome. Hi, this is Ellie Tom Elamine. And today we're talking about high vibrational energy. High vibrational energy. What is it? High vibrational energy is energy that is good and strong. We don't have to make it hard. Good and strong. That's why when we deal with the solar breath message, everybody knows what it is. I always put people to the test. Everybody knows what it is. There's some things you know it could be draining you of energy compared to something else, but everybody's playing their game and that's okay. But at the end of the day, it's an energy that is good and strong. Now this is where it gets good. And everything in life is energy. Now, we use the word energy in science, spirit in religion, and vibe on the streets. But they're all talking about the same thing. Everything in life is vibration. That's where that word vibe comes from. Everything is energy, the movement of objects, whether if it's at a subatomic level or a big level. And again, 
in the spiritual circles, spirit is energy. When you see a light bulb come on, that's spirit. That blows people's mind. No, it ain't. No, yeah, it is. It's spirit. And you have an electromagnetic field. You got electricity going through the body. And the higher the electricity, the higher the magnetism and vice versa. You got to get a basics each time so a person can get caught up on this. And most people do got a grasp on it when you pay attention, really settle down and see for what it really is. So everything in life is energy. People, places, situations, events, all of it's energetic, all of it's spirit. Now sound, and I always tell you that sound is light because this is all dealing with physics. The solar breath in journey is dealing with physics. That's why you must learn science and stop being afraid of it. Spirit, spirituality and science and this truth, spirituality in ancient times is science. The scientists today are spiritual people. Uh-uh, yeah, it is. It just means knowledge. You got to know some things. Now, sound, which is light, sound is also a vibration. All sound vibrates. Is this making sense? What sound? Things that you hear and things that you don't hear. Your ears only hear on a certain frequency range. But again, all sound vibrates. We're doing these little step-by-steps. But the basics is always where it's at. Don't look for nothing real deep and all that's out there and all this. Learn the basics and start applying them and you'll go far. Now this is good. So are thoughts vibration. You mean the way I think vibrates? Yeah, and it's moving the medium that you live in. That's the big one right there. So that's why on the breathing journey, the mind and the body is one. It's a holistic lifestyle. Mind, body, energy connection. Mind, body, spirit connection. You're just one. When you get yourself talking separate. That means you're still a fragmented spirit. You don't understand yet. So what you think is vibrating and that's what's manifesting your reality. So when I say I'm God, I'm not half-stepping with it. It's no game. It's not trying to make people mad. I'm a creative force just like you. Because your thoughts, so those are your thoughts, they vibrate. Oh, are we, are we doing this now? You can look at what you're creating and all this other stuff. That's why the greatest mystery school on this planet is life itself. And it's only a mystery when you don't understand it. But it's the greatest secret society of anything. It's a secret or hidden because that's why you're learning to know yourself. Oh, man, this is good. So now let's get into this. So your thoughts vibrate. Just like if you threw a pebble in a pond and it gives the ripples off, you got these ripples coming off you all the time, both day and night, because you're a thinking, living being. That's your vibration, the way you think. Now this gets good. So everything that manifests itself in your life is there because it matches the vibration from your thoughts. That's why then we in this age now where we keep talking about law of attraction, manifesting this, manifesting that. Yeah, all these speakers telling the truth. So you might as well just get on it and learn what they're talking about and take it to another level. This is just that real. So everything in your life, and nobody gets away. There's things I gotta look at, why I drew this to me, what's going on. The universe is talking to you, or are you talking to yourself. This is all mental, all of mine, and it's vibrating. And it could be a lot of fun when you know the rules. That's why there is no losing. There is no, am I doing okay and all right? You win when you know the game. Now, so everything in your life is manifested because it matches the vibration of your thoughts. It's just that real. So just because you don't understand something doesn't mean it's not true. Let me repeat that. Just because you don't understand something doesn't mean it's not true. 
That's why a person would think something is magic or supernatural just because they don't understand it. But once you understand it and to see it for what it really is and you got the information, it's no longer magic. It's no longer supernatural like we used to like to use as uh, spirituality. Once you figure it out, it's not spooky no more. It's just like the breath there, solar breath there and knowledge. When I first heard it, mind blow. But since I'm living it, it's not a mind blow. Oh, this is something, ain't it? Because you're in it now. You, you're in the vibration. You're in the energy of it. Now this gets good. Einstein. Let's go with Einstein, who has some incredible way of thinking at the turn of the century to really change our ideas on how we look at the universe. And Einstein said, everything is energy, and that's all there is to it. Now, he was straight to the point. That's all there is to it. Everything is energy. So when you wake up every day, you can change the wording. Everything is spirit. That's all there is to it. That's why I tell people I could go any way with the wording. We already live in a spiritual realm. I'm not trying to die and go to another spiritual realm. Uh-uh. I'm already in the spirit realm. I'm already in the energy realm. Everything. This is why you got to get the unified frequency. That's what's holding you back. That's why you got to break off belief systems that are not serving you no more. Habits, ideas, if it's not serving you. Or if you find your ideas, and this happens to people all the time, contradicting itself. Then you got to deal with it. So you can break that so you can get on the unified process. That's the thing that's going to uh, nourish you. So everything is energy. That's all there is to it. And, and this is the law of thermodynamics on his next phase. Einstein said, energy cannot be created or destroyed. Listen at that. It can't be created or destroyed. So that's why when you're manifesting stuff from your thoughts, it's already here. It's not hard. It's just a thought process from thought to reality. That's why when I teach, I take the myth out of stuff. Take the myth out of it. Stop making it so far-fetched that only certain people can get it. When you bring it down to size and you have that aha moment, see what you're dealing with now is just that you're not ready for certain things so you want to do other things. There's nothing wrong with that. You're already immortal. This is something, ain't it? And you don't need to cry, uh, uh, go to an outside force outside of yourself. So don't take this wrong. If you got a belief on certain gods and names, please don't ask me that if you know what I'm doing. Right, that's that passive aggressive behavior. Mm -hmm. I have to catch people on that all the time, smiling. Ah. Oh, here we go. So energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another. It can only go from one form to another. So we're dealing with energy on a solar breath air journey. Give you an example. Solar energy converts itself into what? Heat energy. Converts itself into mechanical energy. Converts itself into chemical energy. All these different forms like a chain reaction. But it can't be created or destroyed, but it can change form. It just don't disappear. You got to study. Study till you can see it. And nobody just could tell you it. The greatest study is when you start living it. So again, high vibration is when you have a good and strong energy. The body loves to work with energy because it is a vibration. Work with it every day consistently. And don't let your mind deceive you. That, that's where the deception, see the greatest enemy on the planet is self-deception. That's it right there. So once again, I hope you got something out of this. I just wanted to talk today. Here I am in Africa still. I'll be here for a while. <laughs> I'm in Benin and we're going closer to Nigeria now. But once again, every day changes on the schedule. So we just bouncing. Bam, bam. But we're going through the continent. Spreading our vibration. Spreading the thought process. Because I know I can. Why? Because everything is energy. Everything is me. Peace and blessings.